Hello Aries, I hope you're all doing well in today's reading with we'll looking at whoever you're thinking about for the rest of the year. For signs in their personality section, we have Scorpio, Virgo. I mean, they can have, you know, any zodiac sign in their chart. That's hard to predict in general or personal readings. Generosity is coming through, Six of Pentacles. Very generous, but this person's often taken advantage of. So they're learning to establish better boundaries with death. So now they're more cautious of who they give their time and energy to, and some of you even financial support, right? But yeah, this person's a little bit stuck. They, I feel like they were spending a lot of time with their thoughts, maybe not going out as much, and they're ready to come out of that energy, but at least a little bit bored, uninspired. Someone who is daydreaming but not taking enough action. But that is what they're working on turning around here with Hermit in reverse. They've done a lot, they've done enough soul searching, right? Secluding. It's more introspective energy. I'm almost getting someone who's like brooding. Yeah, that's, that's the energy I'm getting from them. But talking about establishing better boundaries, I think in the past this person would really bite their tongue. Um, they more diplomatic approach here, but moving forward and through their, you know, because of their past experiences, I feel like this person's learning how to put people in their place. They're, they could have been a little bit more shy or reserved growing up, and now they're really coming out of their shell. It's an empowered energy. This person has a very sharp tongue with death and nine of swords. I feel bad for anyone that messes with them. They can really put someone in their place and yeah, they're blunt. They see it like it is. I'm getting a straightforward energy. Um, I'm also getting this person may have had a short attention span here in the past that they may be working on. So they can be someone who's excited about a lot of things, but they have a hard time focusing. They get bored easily. So they do need that. They need that intellectual stimulation to be in a connection or, you know, to remain interested for a long period. They, they, they're they bored easily. I feel like I'm repeating myself. That's all they're giving me for their personality. I might want one more here for Six of Pentacles. Some of you, you are dealing with a Scorpio, or you will be. And their birthday's coming up. Strength. Oh yeah, this was being taken advantage of by friends. You know, giving gifts. You know, buying drinks, dinners. That's a very lavish lifestyle. Oh, this person has such a beautiful energy. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. It's like they want everyone to feel included. So if someone can't afford, you know, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're quickly, they'll lend a hand. They like to work together with others. This is a team player. They do spend a lot of time alone, but I don't feel like they have much issues getting along with others. What is their reputation? Yeah, someone who's very sweet. And yeah, look at that. People love this person. They can be a little bit flirty, smooth talker, but they're a great communicator is their reputation, but someone who's very generous, caring, romantic. Knight in shining armor, someone who is a savior. They like to help those in need. Some of them may love traveling, but they don't like to sit still in one, sp one spot for too long. They have a lot of energy. They're quite agile, you know, mentally, but also quick on their feet, you know, literally. <laughs> their energy currently, we have Queen of Swords, Three of Wands. This is interesting for who they are and their energy, a little bit detached. Do you see the warm colors and we have the more blues here? Purple, blue, distant. Some of you, they're literally at a distance but emotionally guarded, someone who doesn't trust easily. 
sometimes can be a little bit bitter, but they seem to be focused on some sort of goal. I see that here. Bottom deck energy. There's this person wasn't feeling the most stable. There may have literally been a tower moment or this person's having to reassess or assess their goals, their foundation. And that is what they're working on. Queen of Pentacles laying a proper foundation. And I don't really see them exploring, you know, looking at their options. I'm not sure they're the most love focused. They seem to be focused on getting more organized, getting their life together, cutting out anything that is no longer serving them. You know, cutting ties with the past, death. It's a new chapter, it's a new them, right? So I see a lot of transformation, inner and outer. Three of Wands. S someone who's making plans for the future. Some of them may be strategizing or planning to move. They're wanting to relocate. Yeah, because of some, I don't know, there's some drama surrounding them. They've been hurt. It's like this person's hurt by the people they gave shelter to. They can have people that are backstabbing them, talking behind their back, gossiping. Literally behind their back. We have the back turn and five of swords. But whatever these low vibrational people are around this person, they're aware of them. Queen of swords. They see the truth now. And that may be why they're being called to make some changes here. This person is also quite competitive, I'm getting. They don't give up easily. This person's energy when it comes to their love life, they're not focused on their love life. Three of pentacles, two of swords, blocked off. It wasn't even looking. They have options, but that wasn't their focus or priority. They're focused on their work. Some of them are working in a group setting. So the only people they interact with are their co-workers is what I was seeing. But yeah, I feel like, you know, they are open. Let's look at it from this perspective. Their energy when it comes to their love life when they are actively looking, if that makes sense. This person knows that a relationship takes effort, right? That equal give and take. That's important to them. Fairness. They're a fair person. So that is what they're seeking for in a partnership. By the way, Two of Swords is also Libra energy. So yeah, this is someone who really takes their time, wants to build that proper foundation because of some situation that crumbled in their life previous, prior to meeting you, right? So they've learned that lesson. So I think, you know, building a friendship, really assessing you, what is your long-term vision? What do I want? You know, do our paths align? Can we make this work? So that is how they approach relationships. And they're slow to make a decision, two of swords. They'll really want to get to know you, your personality, before they come to a conclusion. So that is their approach. Their finances, star, upright, ten of pentacles in reverse. Their finances are a little bit shaky. But what it's telling me is that after a period of instability, so maybe finances were limited, right? They're in a period of recovery. So I think it's work in progress here in terms of their finances. They're optimistic and they're hopeful when it comes to their investments. Yeah, King of Swords. They're really Aquarius energy, Knight of Wands. Yeah, it seems like they're working, some of you they're working on some passion project, maybe turning a hobby into full-time income. But they seem to be very passionate about what they do. Some of them, their work may requ require uh, travel. But yeah, it's a businessman or woman. They're very strategic, trying to make the right decisions here. Try it. But it's like they haven't achieved what they're out to achieve. Yeah, their financial situation is a little bit unstable. For others of you, I'm getting that it may be that, you know, some hobby, some passion project, their income may be a little bit more sporadic. 
So they may get lump sums of money or they their income may fluctuate from month to month or even day to day, I don't know, maybe they're investing. So that's sort of what I'm getting. But they seem to be feeling good about whatever their situation is. They're hopeful. Their relationship with their family, we have temperance, page of wands in reverse, page of cups upright. Seems to be some celebration or news of a birth coming in. So there may be someone new coming into their family, specifically a child. So that is something to celebrate. But for the first card to come through temperance, there's peace. There's harmony, there is compromise. So their relationship with their family is amazing. Even if, you know, there are people that they're clashing, some bickering arguments, for the most part, they'll sort through any differences. I am getting one specific energy they may not be in communication with, but there will be an apology or things will be, you know, there will be reconciliation, healing within whatever that small I don't feel like it's something too drastic or anything. Maybe some competition. Can be a sibling I'm getting. And it seems to be the same sex. So say they're, oh, you're asking about a woman. It seems to be a sister. How you'll meet this person. Two of Wands, World. Seven of Wands, Universe, Ace of Pentacles. talking about a new chapter a new beginning so it's almost saying once you pick a direction say there's a decision you're at a crossroads you have a decision to make world this can be many things i'll give you examples should i take that course should i start that new job should i relocate so there's a significant decision here once you make that decision that is when this opportunity comes in how is Aries likely to meet this person? Law and order. There may be some legalities to take care of. Legal issues will be resolved fairly. Make sure you take the high road in all you do. Obey the traffic laws. Ooh, some of you may meet this person while traveling. We have detective here. We have police. Union. We had mature man and mature woman. We also have mature women and mature women, so it can be same sex for some of you. How is Aries likely? There may be some documents. Yeah, look. Finances, Ace of Pentacles, some purchase you're making. There's some challenges when it comes to your finances, and that's how you meet this person. Take a chance. Strength and endurance. Find some sort of balance. A life purpose. Important messages. Who's their struggles when it comes to finances? Yeah, I'm telling you, look, change in direction, knowledge is power. Some of you, again, look, the two pathways right here. Some of you are going back to school. It's a good time to learn a new skill or upgrade an existing one. Some of you are signing a contract or making some sort of commitment. You're taking a chance when it comes to your finances. This young man, maybe you or this person. There's a lot of people here so i don't think we can really predict age because we had mature man and then we had younger man mature woman but whoever the whoever identifies as the woman or more feminine energy seems to be um older and the masculine or specifically male energy seems to be or sorry can be younger or older they're really leaving it open anyways i don't think that matters but yeah, some contract, you're signing some new job, financial improvement here for how you meet. So it's like a graduation, successful completion. It's almost some of you have been juggling maybe odd jobs to make 
ends meet, but you're being paid well with that, whatever this new opportunity is, so you can drop these burdens. Okay, here it gets a little bit confusing. How this person will approach you, Ten of Wands, Hierophant, Nine of Swords. So I was talking about solid foundation, they're, very, they're still unstable. For whatever reason, something to do with the family, right? Maybe some clashes there, but a lot of obstacles in this, pers in this person's way as well that they're needing to overcome. So I don't really see them approaching you. I mean, I think they're wanting long term. That is what they're looking for. But they're a little bit distracted with getting, I feel like it's getting their finances in order. And I see that in your energy. Five of pentacles, seven of pentacles. Some of you, this energy can be jobless. But even with magician, we have sixth house, right? That's a Virgo energy. Mercury Virgo, it's in reverse. So there's challenges on both ends. Health, but specifically finances. So you're both, you're both looking in two different directions. There's a lot going on here. Apologize for the interruption, but we have Eight of Cups full in reverse. It's also talking about in your energy, um, having to leave the familiar behind and take some sort of risk, which we saw with the oracles, right? It was saying take a chance. So there's some, it's like you, there's a fear of the unknown and that's holding you back. You're not willing or ready to take any unnecessary risks. So I, I feel like the situation will be very slow moving because of, you know, external factors. Some of you are needing to move or relocate. It's a lot going on. I don't, seriously, I don't really see you both approaching each other, which is leaving me confused. Can you please give us more? Yeah, look, it's same si <laughs> See, I don't make this up. Look, hills. Whoa. Hills, obstacles to overcome. See it on both ends, but specifically with this person. We have time to get out of a situation. So I'll leave that to you because I can't really. It's a general reading. I was getting health and finances, so you'll have to interpret it accordingly. But we have Cain. Pay attention to your health. So it's either health or it's finances. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Let's let's dig into this person's energy. What are they doing? Oh, yeah. Slowly but surely getting ahead. And I'm seeing work in progress. Confirmation. Can you tell me more about this person Aries is attracting? It can be a Taurus or something about that. April and career was wanting to come through. And we have a Taurus in their energy as well. Can you please tell me more about this person? Aries next serious relationship. I didn't do this for the other signs, but it's it's not really letting me see. Financial pinch. It's all about money here. That is the blockage. But if in terms of you, a wish is granted. They're saying if there's distance, it's short distance. We have short journey. A wish is granted. Can you tell me more about Larry's next serious relationship partner? Haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. We also have older man and romance is in the air. Dealings are relationship with an older man. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. And we have spiritual love. Broken ring was wanting to come through, so one of you may be coming out of a long-term commitment. We have bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. And we had strength and endurance. Yeah, you both are strong enough, strong enough and you will get through whatever these challenges are a distant friend is thinking of you that is how it'll start off so there is some distance here i feel like with haystack and lily that this is there's a level of karma or destiny here and happiness how beautiful 
Again, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. New job, new career, and that is how you make them for some of you. Okay, let's put these back. Oh yeah, cleanup app, having a second number, deletes texts and calls. I feel like that is how you'll be getting to know them online. But we have travel and crush, business and pleasure trip, long distance relationship, romantic getaway. Secret admirer, loves you but not ready to act, early stages of a relationship. That is coming through in this person's energy. Loves you but not ready to act. Hard fit in reverse. They want commitment. That is the end goal here with a Ten of Wands, but I don't think they'll want to get to know you. Or there's something going on external to the both of you that is right. That is why they're having to hold back. This has been coming through for a lot of the signs. Yeah, look, online dater. We have starts romantic relationships online, prefers to pre scheme their dates, too busy to go out and meet people. We also have criminals, so be careful. A high risk relationship, have jobs that are too crazy or too risky. Really get to know people if you're meeting them online. I don't 